so I sold my Native Instruments machine or Machina MK3. I know, I know. I have a good reason though, and I'm gonna tell you why right now. What's up, people? This is Clint Music, and I specialize in producing music for TV and film, and I help other producers monetize their music by showing them how to produce, prepare, and pitch placement-ready music for TV. So if you like that type of stuff, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know exactly when my new content drops. So I, I did a thing, a very, a very drastic thing, because I've been using, you know, a drum machine for a while now, since about... I want to say 2013 was when I got, I think I got Native Instruments, their drum machine. I think it was like the MK2 at the time, a few years back or like a couple years back, upgraded to the MK3. And it's been a part of my workflow for years. <laughs> like, so I've been using that with Logic and, you know, it, it was cool. It was dope. It served the purpose that it needed to serve until I started digging a little bit deeper into logic and some of the the newer things that logic has available and i stumbled across drum machine designer in logic pro i don't know maybe a month or so ago and i was low-key kind of blown away i was just like wait a minute because i was listening to old tracks that i produce and i don't know like the way I used to do my drums, there was a certain level of freedom that I had because of the workflow that I had. Like I didn't have a drum machine, so everything was just MIDI. But the advantage of that was I could easily just go in, shift things and change things around. Well, when I switched over to Native Instruments Machine, my workflow was a little bit different because I would program all of my drums in, you know, in the drum machine, sequence them, and then I would, you know, click the little thing hold it and then bounce it out as wave and then drag that into logic and then do cutting and chopping and stuff like that the thing is because those were audio files you know i couldn't go and drag midi files and do different things i would either have to go back to the drum machine and recreate another pattern or make the edits that i need to make and then drag it back in as audio file so there was like a couple extra steps that I had to do and I didn't mind doing it over the years until I came across this drum machine designer in Logic and it messed me up. I was just like, wow, what I've been sleeping on this for at least a few years. I can't remember exactly which update this, this came out on, but I was just like, what am I thinking? So I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you how I'm using and programming drums now in Logic Pro and it's it's kind of been a game changer for me so this is drum machine designer so this is this is like the drum machine right this is a, a kit that i just kind of put together so without this so let's let's close this so it automatically creates kind of like a drum bus or drum track stack sort of if, if you want to call it that so literally with this this one strip it, it organizes all of your drum sounds your individual drum sounds and then you can minimize it in this uh, this track stack here that it automatically creates when you you know when you create a drum machine designer track so i can literally put all of my plugins right on this strip that i would normally do like on my my drum bus i can just do that all right here which is dope but this is where it's just it really got crazy. So with all these individual sounds, right, they all have their own track. So when you open up drum designer, pretty much if you start from scratch, you, all of this stuff is blank. Like these are times that I just kind of added in there, but this stuff is blank. So you could literally take whatever sound you want, you know, just going through here, you know, let's, let's take this and then you just drag it and you drop it. So that's the sound. You can preview it, it loads it up. Um, so this one has like a few different things, but look at this. This is what, <laughs> the ease of this is what blew me away. You see the, the audio file and you can instantly manipulate it, zoom in however, you know, however much you need to, to be able to do what you need to do. And like, if you just want this, you know, boom, like you just have, that flexibility to be able to do that you can do a one shot you know classic you can slice it you know if you want to 
assign this thing to different notes and just kind of slice up a, a, a sample this can be used for more than just drums right like you can literally like sample with this joint so it's crazy it also has a recorder so if you just wanted to record a drum sound i don't think this i probably shouldn't hit record now that i'm <laughs> i'm recording this video but you can hit record and just record whatever sound like right into this and sample that like you know maybe i'll record some random like a coffee maker or something but you can do that right and then you can also you know quickly quickly manipulate this and do some some cool things here in in you know snap and all types of stuff like you just have options and it's just all right there and then you can go deeper go to the other menus that that are available and right here you can instantly adjust the pitch filter all types of things man that you would need like if you want to modify your sample it just puts it all right there conveniently in one window so if you want to you know change your attack time and like all of that stuff attack release you have the ability to do that so i don't even know what the limit is on here but like as you can see there's like three pages of stuff i don't know <laughs> i don't know how long you can go or how many pages you can create but that's another thing like you're not limited to just you know the paths that show up here so you have that you have pad controls which is dope again you know you got the pitch filter cut off drive all of the, the you know the stuff reverb volume you can edit each sound individually all right here and another dope thing is when you have these plugins you have these plugins on your track so say for example this 808 so this 808 it will actually there we go it shows you the plugins that are on that track so whatever you have on your strip so i have drum strip and i have this uh tube channel strip from waves i have that on here and literally i can adjust the parameters on those plugins like right here it's just in there already and it's in a visually appealing way like you turn it off you turn it on you make the adjustment and it just keeps you in this one window to make all of your sounds, all of your adjustments. You're not switching back and forth between logic and machine and things like that. And it just it just changed my workflow in regards to producing drums and patterns and things like that, you know, sampling. So it's been super dope. So now this is the thing that I loved about it. So it, it creates the track stack for you. You have all that stuff there. But then, you know, it also automatically creates an individual track for each sound so once i go through and i pick all the sounds i want i'll go in and just like delete the stuff i didn't use just to clean up my sessions but it puts everything on each individual track or usually when you're doing the whole thing like say you have drum designer open just like this you just want to finger drum and play everything in one recording right so when you do that it's going to show it's going to show like you know just this one thing all on this this master drum bus here so all of your regions your region would just be here and it'll have all these sounds within this region so you just right click the region and then hit separate by note pitch and then, and then you can see boom that sound goes to its track this sound goes to its track it just takes care of it for you it's super quick it's super easy now if there's certain plugins i want to put on this hi-hat or i just want to control the volume of the hi-hat because that's what you know normal people usually do when they're mixing individual sounds <laughs> you know you can do it so it i have its own fader its own plugin set of plugins if i want to do that and you just have ultimate flexibility and then you still have this drum bus for like you know for the plugins that you use to glue all of your drums together or just to control the master drum volume of everything within your your drum kit also i cannot forget to mention this feature so when you have like an 808 right and you you know it's a tuned 808 and you want to play certain notes throughout your track <laughs> so if you just click on the track that your 808 is on the individual track of the 808 not like the the drum machine designer drum bus click on the actual 808 track and then you play it on your keyboard and it's automatically tuned like i didn't have to do a bunch of setting up and stuff. it's just automatically it's tuned across the entire keyboard that's mad convenient you know on the machine it, it wasn't too difficult you had to press a 
couple buttons and then boom you're in keyboard mode or whatever but yeah again with a keyboard just in front of me you know drum machine designer on the window in front of me i'm not moving like it's, everything is right here so that's another thing that i loved about that is for you know those easily tuned 808s just being automatically set um, when i click on that 808 track so this is this has just been i don't know this has been amazing to me and I, I, i'm excited about it because you know now if i want to just go in and just manipulate some midi real quick to change up the drum pattern during a certain part you know i have that flexibility and i think that's what i was kind of missing most because sometimes i wouldn't do it to, to be honest like i just didn't feel like going back and forth between the the machine software and then dragging back another audio and things like that it was just it, it was extra steps and this kind of cut down those extra steps you know another plus for me was the fact that i can take this session and you know upload it to icloud and pull it up on logic pro on the ipad and all of these drum sounds are going to transfer over to the session on the ipad without me like copying additional sounds and things like that like it's just in the session it's set up exactly how it's set up here in logic and that for me is is huge from a workflow perspective you know just to be able to just instantly have those sounds and those drums organized the way i did now of course those plugins you know certain plugins i'm using those aren't going to transfer over but you know even if it's just an idea maybe it's an idea i start on the ipad and then drag it over in here like i know that it's going to look the same and everything's going to convert and it's going to be dope so yeah so that's that's what i did i just i saw i got rid of that thing i was just like you know what i don't i don't need this so now i'm just putting drums you know maybe i'll get like a honestly i don't even know i may just use the keyboard i've just been using the keyboard to do the drums may get a midi pad controller just to have pads to bang on but you know it's not something that i'm like in a rush to do or whatever so yeah so that's that's what i did that that has been a major update in my workflow and how i program drums when create music and i'm excited to see how it works for me I've, I've already used it for like i don't know like five tracks so far and i've been enjoying it um i've been enjoying it it's just it's just been so so much more simple for me so play around with it let me know your thoughts have you tried out drum machine designer in logic pro if so how do you like it do you prefer to you know produce drums on on a keyboard on an actual drum machine and then drag it over like what what's your workflow like when it comes to programming drums let me know in the comments and uh yeah hopefully this video was insightful and helpful if it was please be sure to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one peace